Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. So it is the 2nd of December. Yeah, wow, where did that time go? Honestly, what a year it's been. So my subscribers and my viewers will know that from last year, Christmas is huge to me. And the year before, Christmas is very, very big in my family. This year, like for a lot of other families, I imagine, it's been difficult, it's been tough. But for me and my family, we lost my nan back in May. And it's been really, really difficult and really, really tough. It really has been. And it's painful still on a daily basis. But I try, I try to take inspiration from the incredible lady my nan is. And I try to think how she would want us to be and how she would want me to be. My nan and I were best friends. As I always say, I've been blessed in this life with incredible parents and an incredible nan. And nan is was very much like a second mum to me. My nan and my mum were incredibly close and their bond precious and a blessing to be amongst. So I grew up in this very wonderful, loving environment and the most incredible Christmases. So now my nan isn't part of that this year. Well, she is. She will always be a part of it. She will always be a part of Christmas. She will always be a part of that through Christmas memories and these traditions which we bring on into the future of future Christmases from this year. And of course, future ones. But it's tough. It is different. I'm not the same. But what I'm telling myself is that this year is the first year Mine, and this is, and I got this from listening to, and if you, this, this, this will take you back. So I love Jimmy Fallon. I think he's really, really cool, really, really funny, and really cool to listen to. And he done a duet with Dolly Parton of, um, oh, what's it? Oh, it's called. It's just gone out of my head. The Christmas song. They done a Christmas song. The, oh, I can't remember what it's called now. It was done by Myra Carey, wasn't it? You know, the real classic Christmas. Um, and anyway, Dolly Parton and Jimmy Fallon done this duet together, and I was listening to it recently, a couple of days ago. And you know what? It made me, it made me think that my nan had Alzheimer's, and she handled it incredibly, and she was not letting it. It was almost like that nan held two fingers up to it the whole time she had it. But her last, her last weeks couple of months, things were getting difficult. Now, was still always done up to the nines, glamorous as ever, hairdressers every week, hair coloured every, goodness knows how many weeks, and my nan was a stunning film star lady. But I could just tell that the struggle and the look in my nan's face was starting, it was starting to become a lot for her. My nan is now at peace in her 95th year. We lost my nan at that age. I would have held my nan a lifetime if the Lord would have allowed me to. Now I'm thinking to myself that as things would have progressed, this Christmas would have been tough for Nan. My Nan battled Alzheimer's for many years. She done it incredibly, but it was tough. And she's an inspiration to us all. But this Christmas, my Nan gets to spend it with my grandfather, and this is it's 27 years since they've spent it together. So in heaven, I'm telling myself that they're with the Lord and they're together. And this will be the Christmas in, in the first Christmas together in 27 years. And when I heard that song, when I heard that song, it really, it gave me that thought that, do you know what? I felt like, I felt like singing along. I felt like sort of jigging about for the first time ever in, in goodness knows how many weeks we're feeling really down. And because of this, and this, this trying to deal with this with, without my nan being by my side anymore. And I know she'll always be looking down on me, but I thought hearing that song, I know that's how I've got to look at it. And I felt that that was my, that was the guidance of my nan. So Christmas will be different this year, but we're still doing it like, like how we would. So, I start early, very, very early. I always used to help my nan prepare for Christmas. She had a huge family. Um, so I always used to help my nan prepare for Christmas and dress the house. And here in our family home, I'm very, very close to my parents. So I help dress the house and Christmas gift shopping and things, which 
Christmas is not all about gifts, but we do go mega over the top, and we do live in a very, very fortunate uh, family, and and I'm so blessed with my life and my family. So we start way back in September. So for me, I'm pretty much done by the 2nd of December. But Christmas is so, so special. And when I say that, that Christmas isn't just about gifts. It's not. It's not about having the house dressed in its best finery of decorations, the best tree, the eight foot, the seven foot tree dressed within an inch of its life of beautiful ornaments with the most lavish food, the lavish gifts, the lavish whatever dressed up to the nines. That's not what Christmas is about. Christmas is precious in itself that if you are together with those who you love and adore and you are healthy and well and you have got through a year, okay, and a really difficult one at that, and you are sat around a table with the people who you love and you share laughter, comfort, love of your family with happy memories, with hopefully happy times to come, Christmas is to be cherished, is to be treasured, because it doesn't matter if you have the smallest amount, it doesn't matter if you have the most. Christmas is a blessing because of you and your family and the loved ones around you. And Christmas in itself, essence, isn't that what it actually means and that we should be grateful for what we have and we should be giving thanks for those around us and for our lives which we get to lead? I, I have faith. So I do have an element there where that plays very strongly to me at Christmas. But family is centre stage, of course, at Christmas. And that's why it's difficult when I try to push on this year without my nan. I know it's difficult for my mum, even more so because it was her mother. But we're very close. And you know what? This Christmas, we're trying to do it how nan would have wanted it to. I'm trying to think of that song because that is what made me think and kind of get myself together about it because at the moment I've been doing all these preparations and things but I've not really been thinking about it which is strange isn't it but now 1st of December, 2nd of December we're bang into the Christmas season, the gates have opened and Christmas is well and truly on its way and I've been listening to a few Christmas sort of uh, hits and, and music and one thing or another and I listened to this song and it really really gave me that notion, I'm just trying to think of it is it All I Want for Christmas? Is you? I think it's that. And it was sung by a duet by Jimmy Fallon and Dolly Parton. And it, it was almost like that, that inspiration, that, that sort of moment, was from my name. Almost like, yeah. And, uh, and, it, and it's so strange. But Christmas is so, so very special. And of course, it means different things for a lot of people. My nan used to actually say that Christmas brings joys and sorrows to many, many people. And of course, to us all, Christmas can be a happy time and it is a blessing. It's a magical one. I always say that you can feel it when Christmas is on its way, Christmas and its magic, you can feel it. Sounds like I'm a five-year-old boy, doesn't it? But it really, truly does that zing, that tingle almost up your spine. You know when Christmas is on its way and it's magic and all these wonderful things happen where we break for the holiday season of course and all the fine luxuries come out and and we get to spend time with loved ones and friends and family and we get to forget the rotten year which we've had um, and which so many of us have had and some people's lives are never ever going to be the same and we harmonize in the love of our family and in those relationships those bonds we reunite everything what's so precious about this life Christmas is centre stage for all of that. So this year, as my nan is above with the Lord and my grandfather, I will push on and I will enjoy Christmas because that's what nan would have wanted to be, wanted it to be. <sighs> yeah, Christmas is really, really special and it is different, but Hasn't this last year been different without losing somebody? It's been a difficult, difficult year for a lot of people anyway. But hopefully going forward into the Christmas season, it's the, it's the 2nd of December. I wanted to do this clip on the 1st of December with appointments and things. And it was just being really, really busy and flat out. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it on here. So I put a community post up to wish everybody well and to wish everybody a happy 1st of December. But what I'm trying to say here is take time for you and your family this season. Life is far too precious to let this season run away with you and to forget and to miss things out. It's the 2nd of December. So all year, if you've worked really hard, you've had a rotten time and you're struggling with one thing or another, 
whether it be finances, whether it be family, whether it be health, make time for you to enjoy this season. Make time to connect with people you haven't connected with throughout the year, throughout the COVID situation. I think we all thought that this COVID situation would be long gone by now. It's going to be something we're going to live with for a long time to come. But it doesn't mean to say that we can't enjoy life. And it certainly doesn't mean to say that we can't have a fantastic Christmas. I'm starting to realise six months on from losing my nan that she will always be here and she will always be looking down on me. And she will always be in here and she will always be here. So if you've lost somebody and you're coming into the Christmas season and you're thinking, don't want to know. I've been there. I've had those thoughts. But what would that person say to you? Your life is to live. I don't know, for example, and this hurts me to say it, but... It does go on. Life does go on. And that's the coolest thing of all, that time doesn't stop for us. But with having said that, whatever has happened, you deserve to enjoy this Christmas season. So it will, it will quickly zoom on into the first week, the second week, the third week of December, and then bang, what do you know, we're all sat around the Christmas table enjoying Christmas. Well, Take a moment and don't let it run away with you. Capture it. Don't let it run on too fast. Enjoy this season. You deserve it. Take a moment for yourself, even if it's just to watch a Christmas film and it's cold and you've got your loved ones around you, your family. Make it special. Make it special. Talk about old memories. Talk about plans for the future. It's important we hold on to these things. If you've lost a loved one, keep talking about them. Don't fall in silence. Do something special. Commemorate them this Christmas. After all, what is Christmas? It's a celebration, isn't it, of the birth of Jesus? And of course, Christmas is so many wonderful things. So with that said, this season will be different for me and it will be different for a lot of other people. But it is still the best time of the year. It is still my favourite holiday. It is still a very, very magical time. And you know what, from my favourite Christmas film, I'll leave you to guess this, miracles happen every day. <laughs> so from the bottom of my heart, have a very, very happy, healthy, wonderful, magical December. And oh, it is certainly starting to feel and look a lot like Christmas. Take great care. My very best wishes to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so already. You don't have to, but you'd really be helping me out where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay. So wishing you well, take great care, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.